As I'm sure you've heard by now, everyone on the Ocean Gate 22 feet long submersible died, including the CEO, Stockton Rush. Now, what's interesting about the story is that he apparently didn't want to hire experienced white men because he thought they weren't inspirational. In fact, he's quoted as saying, uh, Yes, I mean, when I started the business, one of the things you'll find, there are other sub-operators out there, but they, they typically um, have uh, gentlemen who are ex-military submariners, and they you'll see a whole bunch of 50-year-old white guys. Um, I wanted our team to be younger, to be inspirational, and I'm not going to inspire a 16-year-old to, to go pursue marine technology. And then he went on to describe how those white guys weren't particularly inspirational, and he wanted people who were younger and more diverse. Now, we see the result. I mean, this, this guy intentionally didn't hire people on the basis of their merit and experience, but instead as to their, their diversity, on their not being 50-year-old white guys. Um, he just kind of threw away the most um, capable individuals. It reminds me a lot of, you know, Ayn Rand's famous work, Atlas Shrugged, I'm not a fan of her philosophy. I, I disagree with a lot of it, but there's a parallel to be made here because the, the main thesis of the book, you might say, is that everyone who is intelligent and capable starts withdrawing from this heavily bureaucratic society, refusing to fix the machines, refusing to sort of like keep society going. And so all of these more capable individuals all relocate to their own area and they let the society of bureaucrats and idiots implode. And this is kind of like that, but it's not the capable people who are withdrawing. They are thrown out, right? Because that's what we're, we're seeing. Some of the, the most capable individuals, as he admitted, you find them not matching his personal preferences and therefore he didn't choose them. And I don't think he was a con man, you know, Stockton Rush. He, he may have been delusional, um, but he got on the vessel himself. He died on the vessel. So he trusted his own judgment here, even though it was the judgment made based upon ideology and a very flawed ideology. And there was no part of him that said, hey, those, those older guys who have military experience, they might be helpful in our big voyage. No, he was completely confident. Completely confident. And I think that in some ways you're gonna see kind of more of this because we have, I mean, I've covered so many stories in the last couple of years about racial preference or even racial exclusion might be more proper as in white people being thrown out of different areas or not chosen unless they absolutely have to be, right? In areas of like piloting and medicine, uh, you know, obviously university uh, acceptance and so on. And I think you're going to kind of start to see the implosion of society in various areas because people are specifically being chosen, ignoring their merits. So the people who may be the most qualified and who may spot issues are simply cast aside in favor of lesser qualified and less able people. And what we see here is a very public display for a lot of different reasons, but I think we'll see more of them as time goes on, as the hiring practices are increasingly, you know, made clear. There've been like lawsuits in medicine already of individuals who are thrown out of the healthcare system and replaced by people who are uh, non-white. And that's I mean, that has real consequences on human lives, as as did this one. So that's just something to consider as we move forward, because I think we're kind of moving toward that kind of society where you have, like like where we build everything on the basis of like not being white. I would say diversity, but but it's it's not really diversity if the whole point is you're not white. That's not diverse. That's just simply non-white. Now they're not the same thing. Diversity would be to have an array, uh, which would include whites but they're specifically trying to be exclusive, trying to exclude those. Uh, so as we move forward, there will be more and more catastrophes from intentionally trying to choose such people 
on the basis of our ideology instead of reason or decency or, you know, merit. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like it. Also, I have other videos that you might enjoy. I have links in the description down below as to how you can support this work. So thank you so much.